ahead. All right, so I'll start off with my credentials since apparently they matter. Oh, they definitely don't matter. I'm an eight year military veteran. I'm a college student. Thank I'm you. a black woman. And I believe that white privilege doesn't exist. So we're going to start with that. Thank you for your service. Thank and you for the your reason service. why white privilege exists is because you guys refuse to acknowledge the history that put people in this position. You want to tell me that white privilege doesn't exist when white people had a upper hand for 250 years to develop generational wealth and that black people didn't get the right to vote until the 60s and you're going to tell me that white privilege doesn't exist? So, that sounds like so it exists all, because you guys black, got the yeah, upper hand. Yeah, what, what's funny about that is blacks are, are do, were doing better during Why that time. Why do we always under, call people under, blacks? No, because, well, because you because you black. Can we just be black people? Can we just be like African Americans or something? Why are we just the black blacks? community? How would you like it said? How, what makes you feel better on the inside? Really, anything else other than what you're saying? What, what, tell me. I'll, I'll say how you want anything it. Anything else? I'll tell how you need it. Tell me how, what makes you feel. Literally better. anything else other than what you're saying. Okay, anything else? Why is that anything else? Right during in the in the Jim Crow era, blacks were doing better. Economically, we're outpacing whites under the Jim Crow era. Then we, uh, doing, let's then we see. are doing. It probably has to do with the fact that we had our own communities before the fucking KKK the came and burned the them KKK down. The KKK were Democrats, but give me a second. So after 22 trillion dollars of government handouts and a black president for after for, how many years of slavery years, and 44 white today, presidents, we were in the Jim 44 Crow white male possible? presidents, oh, I 97 percent white male Congress. So you're actually the reason why people like us can't do well because they sold you your, our oppression and you bought it. Blacks were doing better Barrett. under the Jim Crow era. If you acknowledge the oppression of other people, we can heal from it. No, we but can't. But if you want no, to we ignore can't. it, we, we won't can't. have anything happen. That's not how. That's not how this works. Dialogue and acknowledging things doesn't make us. Un how are you going to say a point and then walk and then walk away? Like, how are you going to make a point? When when facts are being thrown at you, when you're coming with emotion, but then when Candace throw out the facts at you, you you sit there and you walk away. It's like, bro, look, I, I said this in a few videos ago. I'm not a politician. I'm not a I, I'm not a, a a race bait or whatever you want to call it. I don't know all these different names that they have for the stuff and the content that I make. But I'm just I'm just a person that's go for common sense. That go for what makes what makes logical sense. And what makes logical sense to me is the fact that a lot of people that are black, they make excuses for why they are not where why they why they don't have the same opportunities as a white person, which it doesn't make sense to me because again, you 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 laid out your credentials but yet you still say white privilege exists. If you say white privilege exists, that simply means that hey, I have I don't have the same opportunities as a white person. White people have more privilege than black people. But my question that I always ask people is, hey, what can you do as a black person that a white person? No, yeah, what can't you do as a black person that a white person can? Because at the end of the day, I believe that I can do anything that a white person can do. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter on your race. I believe if you have the right credentials, if you have the right uh, education and everything that you need in order to succeed in this life, you can do exactly what it is that a white person could do. You know what I'm saying? We are not, we are not in the in, in slavery days no more. Like we're not in that time. We have so many opportunities, bro. It's so many famous black people, so many rich millionaires that are black. Bro, I think uh one of the one of the billionaires, I'm not for sure. At one point, if I'm not mistaken, I believe Jay-Z and Beyonce or Jay-Z was like the number one billionaire. If I'm not mistaken, maybe I am. You know what I'm saying? But I know he is a billionaire and he's black. You feel me? But it don't seem like a lot of black people that have made it are making excuses for why they couldn't make it. It's like, no, they work hard. They put in the work. They put in the effort. They didn't sit there and make excuses on how white people this and white people that. No, what they did was they locked in. They locked in on their goals. They said they said they made a plan. They said, OK, I'm going to be this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And look where they're at now. So at the end of the day, there's no excuse for why black people cannot succeed in this life, why they can't succeed in America. There is no excuse at all. You know what I'm saying? But so many people are lazy. We just want things handed out. So we want reparations. We want this. We we want everything handed out to us. We want we want to we want to be able to profit off what our ancestors went through. We want to be able to profit. That's how selfish we are. We want to be able to profit for what our ancestors have been through, even though we didn't go through it. But we want to be able to profit off their off their um 
what, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm just gonna say we we, we want to be able to profit off what they went through when we didn't go through it. You see what I mean? Like it's just like how selfish can we possibly be? But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead. Let me let me finish here. Candace's point though. Yes. Don't have anything happen. That's not how that's not how this works. Dialogue and acknowledging things doesn't make us suddenly rich. So there's a it's a real I, there's a question I do want to ask, which I can't seem to get an answer. What can she not do in America that a white person can do? Thank you. What opportunity? You served in the military. You've made good choices. You're getting rewarded for them. You're going to live in the American middle class. What privilege do I have that you don't have that is based on skin color, not on wealth or socioeconomic status? Please. The fact that you are sitting here with like little to no education trying to talk to people about white privilege is white privilege. Tell me one thing I said that's wrong and don't use an argument from authority. Make a good argument. I'm arguing from authority I have I'm telling you my life experience. That's not your life experience. That's a degree. Really? I'm sorry. Did you live my life? That means nothing. Did you live my life? That means that's a degree. You're not smarter than him because you have a degree. Just so you know that. That's a fallacy. That I can do. That's a fallacy. Name one thing that you can't do that I can do? Um, I don't know. I can't make a whole dollar. What? You can't? Why? Oh my god. Wait, what? Did you... Do. That's a fallacy. Name one thing that you can't do that I can do. Um, I don't know. I can't make a whole dollar. What? You can't? What? Why? Oh my god. You're trying to tell me in the military women aren't paid the same as men for equal work? Um, in the military, up until two years ago, women weren't even allowed to do most of the jobs that Answer the question. Do. You just said you couldn't make a dollar. You said you could not make a dollar. You served in the military. Which not is to mention that people in the Sorry. military I'm actually get paid a bullshit wage, but we're not going to talk about so that. Now we're moving yeah, let's talk that. about... No, 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 no. Let's talk about for a second color. that you want to say that everyone what? in the military what can I not pay do? a shitty wage. A feminist so lie. That makes Radical it right. feminist lie. And they also sell... There's so many different ways they sell your oppression, and she has purchased all of them today. So right now, we are on sexism, right? So she's saying that I can't make a full dollar. Yes, you can. If women stop so going in... I bet he got paid more to be here than you did. speaking, okay? If women stop going into career fields and she like walks fashion off and vote and journalism, and, and we start going into fields like engineering, the, like engineering business, and hard academics, finance. we will make the exact same money that if men. More. The the, the uh, wage gap is a myth and a, a myth. lie. It's a myth and a lie. Okay. It's, it's actually a myth and lie. I understand that you need to be oppressed, but you are you have just heard from two black people that haven't purchased their oppression from the Democrat Party. Respect that. And, and, and what what frustrates me is you served our country which deserves to be applauded. And you have lived a life of a victor, and you have the gumption to tell me you're a victim without evidence. You were not able to cite one thing that you cannot do that I can do. If you make good choices, you will get those choices rewarded. And you brought zero evidence except an argument from an authority and an insult to my lack of a college degree of which I am so proud of because I'm not indoctrinated because I didn't go to college. Wow. First of all, I didn't even know I didn't even know that Charlie Kirk didn't go to college. So I, that's, that's actually pretty good news. I mean, I'm gonna say it's pretty good news, but it is it's some good news. It is. You know what I'm saying? I ain't go to college either. You know what I'm saying? And pretty educated. That's crazy. But um, okay, let me get my thoughts on this. Now <laughs> he asked the same question that I asked. I asked the same exact question. I said, what is what it is, uh, what can what can you not do as a black person that a white person can? I don't think anyone can logically answer that question because the same thing that a white person can do, I can do also. Like, I, I, I don't understand the whole victim mentality that black people have at times. And it's not every black person, but majority of black people, they have this victim mindset of the fact that, oh, I, I can't do this and I can't do this. It's like, no, if you work as hard as a white person, bro, you can achieve exactly what they're achieving, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, it's white people that didn't come from nothing. Like, white people, it's a lot of white people that came from just poor living, that came from just below middle class. Like, they, they, they had to work, 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 work in order to get to where they want to be at bro you know what i'm saying you talk about generational wealth bro you understand that to, in order to create generational wealth you have to continue to work now you know what i'm saying so that way that generational wealth can be passed down to your kids then their kids and their kids but you know it, it's crazy because i feel like a lot of black people and it's not it's, it's not every black person but 
a majority of black people are lazy they're lazy you know what I'm saying they want to continue to live below uh below middle class they want to continue to live below the rich they want to continue to live at the poverty level they don't want to work hard they don't want to go to college they don't want to get educated they don't want to educate themselves on a lot of the stuff they just go based off what they see on social media instead of actually doing the research instead of actually looking at statistics instead of actually reading books because all knowledge is found in a book you know what I'm saying if you want to know if you want, and this is a key to any black person that is watching this, look, if you want to know knowledge, bro, if you want to understand things, bro, read some books. I got a couple books right here. You know what I'm saying? I got a, I got a, I got a finance book in the closet. I, I like read books. Knowledge is in books. Knowledge is power. But a lot of black people, they don't want to educate themselves on the reality of things. They don't want to educate themselves on the Democratic Party and why we shouldn't vote for them. It's not no, oh, uh, uh, I, I, it's, it's, I don't want to say it's not about politics. It's not about political. It's just the knowledge of knowing what the Democratic Party is doing to the black community and knowing how much they don't care and how much they are using us. Like knowing these things, it can help you better in life. It can help you educate yourself and know more about the history on things and know why we shouldn't or know why you shouldn't vote for this certain party or why you shouldn't follow this certain organization because again if you know more you i promise you your life will change you know what i'm saying but the same knowledge that is available to white people is the same knowledge that's available to us it's just the fact that a lot of us are freaking lazy we don't want to put in the work why people they put in the work they, they 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 read books they go to and i'm not saying you have to go to college to know more because you don't i didn't go to college to know what i know you know what i'm saying but again they go to college they they educate themselves on this. They 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 build up all this knowledge and they pass it on to their kids. Now their kids are educated on what on what the world is going on in the world. You know what I'm saying? But you know what? A lot of black people don't do that. We stay at that poverty level. We complain and say that the government is doing this and the government is doing that instead of working because you choose who you want to become. At the end of the day, I can't blame everything on the government. I can't blame everything on my trauma. I can't blame everything on my what my ancestors been through. I can't. I have to work. I choose the person I want to become today. I can't continue to live in the past instead of living in a, uh, in, instead of living right now in the present. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I choose who I want to become. So I can't blame my ancestors for 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 what they've been through. I can't say that my mother did this and my mother didn't do this and my daddy didn't do this and I didn't have a daddy in the household because the government took my father's out the house. I can't keep blaming the government and I can't keep blaming America for my position and where I'm at. It's all about, okay, what am I going to do so that way I can achieve the, the goals that I want to achieve? What can I do now? At the end of the day, it's like, what can I do? I have to reevaluate myself to see what is it what is it that I can do now so that way I can be exactly where I want to be at in the next two or three years. That's just the whole, that's like the whole breakdown line of it, bro. Stop having this victim mindset, zero victim, bro. My pastor always preach on it, bro. Zero victim, zero victim. That, that, that's what we need to have, a zero victim mindset, bro. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, um, y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. Hit the like button, subscribe to the post notifications. Shout out to Charlie Kirk and Candace. Who Candace was going off, bro. She was, she was holding herself back from really going. You know what I'm saying? She could go crazy, crazy, but I feel like she was kind of like holding herself back a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Because she, she that, like, you see it in her eyes. She had fire. She had fire in her eyes. You feel me? But anyways, man, y'all let me know how y'all feel about this in the comment section below. Hit the like button, subscribe to the notifications. Be your boy, Depend. I love each and every one of y'all, man. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.